Welcome back crew, this is Happy Days and here we go with another Terraria video. So I went back to where we got to last time when we were digging down and I've just fixed the wall up a bit so it's easy to climb uh, down. Um, so this is an underground mushroom biome. So you can tell the music changes. Sometimes there's different enemies that spawn in places like this. Uh, it's mostly just a really good place to get lots of mushrooms. Um, they tend to spawn a lot here, and uh, yeah, um, ooh, a few tungsten ores. So, basically, uh, I'm going to keep going along this path, and I notice there's a health container over here, which is sweet. Uh, the new sword's really helping too, it can, it's starting to let us go toe-to-toe -to -toe a bit with these skeletons, which is handy because they were absolutely owning us before. All right, new life crystal. I'm gonna use that straight away. Sweet, which is cool. I was talking. Ooh, now gold chests always have one good item. Oh my god, are you kidding me? A magic mirror. This is so good. A magic mirror is like the recall potion, except it's permanent. So we can use it. Oh. Guys, I have played games of Terraria sometimes and I've had to end up go searching for magic mirrors. So I get towards the end of the game and I still haven't got one. So this is a huge find. So basically, all you do, don't have to worry about the potions anymore. Just whenever you want to go back home, you just use the mirror and you're good to go. Oh, this is cool. So we've been collecting those lenses, which I must have put in the chest they didn't make this suspicious looking eye item uh if you use this at night time you actually summon the first boss in the game the eye of cthulhu and it's pretty cool so that's going to be interesting uh so we probably could try and fight him that was a really good chest i mean sometimes they're average sometimes you know that had a lot of good stuff. Just checking to see if there's anything up there. Doesn't seem to be much worth it. Uh, let's see. I can't do that. I just want to have a quick look because I won't come back up this way. So, because I'm mostly heading down. So, if I check this properly before I move on. Oh, that's a... What's that up there? It looks like a secret room. What is that? It looks pretty cool. Usually, if you can see like an underground area like that, that's not just natural caves, it's probably got some secrets in it. So we definitely want to go up there. And these bats are drive me crazy. So I'm just gonna, you can actually seal off areas temporarily. So now the bats can't get in and keep annoying me. So, let's work our way up here. It also is underwater by the looks of it, unfortunately. But, I'm trying to see, there's a chest there. So, how are we gonna do this? We need to drain off the water. Oh well. I'll just leave a little opening there so the water can come out. And we're going to drain this puppy. Oh, I'm excited. Oh, this is also gems. Uh, gems are used for a few things in this game. There's some weapons you can make later on. And for those of you who like to make things look cool, it can also be used for like jewelry and stuff like that. Okay, here we go. Chris Splash. I'll drop a... Oh my gosh. <laughs> you got to be careful with that magic mirror. Almost don't have it in your hotbar. I almost accidentally used it. And that's a real pain when you do that. I'm just wondering... I don't want all the water to go into there. I'd rather it come out here. 
So if I put a little, like a funnel here, I can open this. Uh oh, the piranha's after me. Die. And the jellyfish is coming to kill me. Oh, it's on. Done. Oh, okay, there's a little air pocket here. Sweet. Come here. Gotcha. Okay, what's in the chest? A flare gun. Two damage, very fast speed, no knockback. Does it need ammo? Yeah, it looks like it needs ammo. Okay. That seems pretty cool. Guns sell for a lot of money in Terraria. So, very useful. Oh, there's the flares. Hmm. Let's give it a go. Whoa. Cool. <laughs> Lights up the place. And it shoots underwater. Okay, we got our first gun. It doesn't seem to do much damage, but hey. That's cool. Still good. I'll take it. Alright. Jester's arrows. Tungsten bars. Tons of potions. And gold coins. Good. Okay. And more piranhas. The one vanity thing I do like to grab is these chests. They look cool in your base. I think why not. I wonder if I should keep trying to explore up here a bit more. Alright. Try and get a torch up there. Those flares are cool. They light up the place. Okay. I kind of want that chandelier too. Can I get that? Cool. Pretty much anything in the game you can mine if you want it. Okay. need more light up here. This is a good area. And that's why it's good. I just had a quick check up here before we moved on downwards. Because, you know, if I hadn't had a good look, we wouldn't have come up here. And look at all this stuff we would have missed. Okay, there's another chest here. Let's throw another... Whoa, trap. What's in this? Oh, no way, another magic mirror. That's actually a bit of a shame. Like, there's other items you can get. So it's a shame that we didn't get something else useful, but that's okay. Right, let's have another look up here. Well, not another look. We haven't been here before, but you know what I mean. Okay, what's around? Hmm. Oh, it's kind of dark. Just want to have a little peek up here and see if there's anything good. This is how you can find... Oh, there's a... I was about to say this is how you find heart containers. Just having a look around. Okay, sweet. I've got to battle another slime here. Bring it on, slime. I'm a cactus now. You're going down. Um, so basically, you want to fight the Eye of Cthulhu, which is that boss item we just got. Because you actually get some ore that is um, needed to... Um, you get to a point of the game where you need a certain level pickaxe to continue on. Well, within reason. For your average player. Um, and fighting the Cthulhu Eye is the way to do it. Wow, this area is sweet. The good thing about... Oh, ow! Holy moly, I almost died. So that falling rock trap. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little pressure point there. Now uh, there's traps in this game. And one just landed on our head. It's one of those things that, I don't know. I don't, I'm not that careful. Like, I don't want to spend the whole game just looking for those tiny little, you can see this, see that skull head there. So that was a trap, which now shouldn't go off. Um, these big mushrooms can be mined for... You chop them down like a tree. 
and you get lots of little mushrooms. So you can see like we've ended up going on this massive tangent. So I just wanted to have a look at that little area. Oh no! <laughs> I love the death messages, they're funny. <laughs> Okay, we have to come back and scope this place out. So I think when I died, I, you lose a bit of your money in softcore mode. Oh, and we had a painter move in while we were away. Cool. Was it Guido? Guido? I'm pretty sure that's how you say that. Not Guido. So Guido the painter. Wow. Underground reward. Starlit Heaven wallpaper. Cool. Shall we try some? Alright. So, Icy Flow, Music, Purple Roma, Sparkle. I don't know. What's well, not going to look too crazy? Can you take it off? Paintbrush, Paint Scraper. Oh, so you can take paint off with paint to color walls. Use with paint to color blocks. Oh, you can paint blocks. That's cool. Sky blue paint. So you can see there's a lot of customization in this game. There's just like tons. Oh, paintings. I'm kind of keen to try some of this wallpaper. I like this starlight one. I'm just thinking which is not going to make the house look just plain ridiculous. Or maybe we should just go with ducky wallpaper. All right, let's buy a 10 and make sure it doesn't look too hideous first. Alright, so, we've got the ducks. How does this work? Uh, can I? How do you wallpaper? Do you even wallpaper, bro? How do you do this? <laughs> oh, it's like a... It's like a backdrop. Okay. So you have to punch out these walls and then put it in. Okay, maybe on another video. Oh, demo Demolitionist. Sweet. Okay, I'm going to sell Ducky Wallpaper. How much is gun worth? One gun. One gun, one gold. Hmm. I'll save it for now. Let's get like a cool weapons chest going. Oh my gosh, i got three gold chests. Okay, let's put our new flare gun in there. And the bullets. The flare bullets. What else is cool that we got? Uh, I think... There's no point having two of something. So it's not a material. There's no point keeping it. So let's sell the other magic mirror. It'll probably sell for a gold coin. Most rare items do. Yeah. Sweet. Sweet. Uh, how about those? The dart trap I don't need. I'll keep all the potions. Anything else to sell? Pressure plates. Don't need those. I don't really need the recall potions now because I got the magic mirror. Consumable, it's not a material, get rid of it. Okay. Bombs, I'll keep those. Bombs are actually good, they blow up blocks. So if you're trying to clear out a big area of ground quickly, you can just throw bombs in it. Or dynamite. You gotta be careful, dynamite can like instantly kill you. Well, it can at this stage of the game. Um, seeds can be used to create biomes. So you can like create a, that underground mushroom biome. So I am actually going to keep those. Cool. And let's put our chandelier up. This is sweet. Oh, cool. So pretty much anything in the game can be mined and then put back down. So we've put the banners up. We've got the chandelier up. Oh, here comes the demo guy. No, that's not him. Is that him? Yeah. Cool. So this guy, he looks like a dwarf, I suppose. Like, I don't mean like, you know, that derogatory. Like, he's like a dwarven demo sort of dude. Um, he sells bombs and dynamite. Grenades are not really as useful because they don't destroy blocks. You can use them as weapons, but... Actually, it looks like they've tweaked... Grenades, they do more damage now. Okay. Um, you use bombs and dynamites when we go to the corruption. It's good for getting to these special items. 
and I'll show you later. So we're going to hang on to them for now. So let's make this our weapon, oh, actually, let's make this our special items chest. So storyline, storyline items. So bombs are needed to open up story things. That's a story item. Anything else story items? No, not really. Let's keep our special chest in here. Now let's put that in a different one. We got like a treasure chest yet? No. Let's make this our cool treasure chest. Um, I usually keep gold, the gold coins in a chest because if you die, you lose half your money. Um, so gold's just an easy thing. Like silver and copper is not the end of the world if you lose, but yeah. Uh, the Jester's Arrow are good against a boss later in the game. And without going into too much detail, just save any Jester's Arrows you find. And Flaming Arrow, we may as well keep them. Although, not as useful as that. And Wooden Arrow, yeah, what ifs. Okay. Just quickly, it's good to have a potion sort of chest. Keeping all of your... Oops. Um... I'll make it a different weapons chest. Yeah, it's just good to keep all potions in the same spot because there is a lot of potions in this game. Like, a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. And any mushrooms. Keep the mushrooms over here. With the bottles for crafting. Cool. That's good. Our fallen stars, you haven't seen me collect any yet. They fall at night. If you get 10, you can create a mana star. 10 or 5, I think. And that actually gives you an extra mana uh, star. Some weapons later in the game use mana instead of bullets. Um, and there's spells as well. So I'll go into that more later. Alright. So where was that weapons? Am I using that as a weapons chest? Uh, yeah, I've got some gold bars. Cool. Um, eventually I'll start skipping all this inventory sorting stuff. I guess I'm just describing as we go. Special game items there. And let's keep the shurikens here too, because they're for bosses. All right, that was a pretty successful little run through. Yeah, I just shut the door on him. Okay, and as you can see, we're growing our little community of uh, builders here. Instead of making just a big boring tower, I think I'll smooth out some ground over here and actually make like a second building. We'll get a bit of design going as well. So, uh, thanks for watching. Hit that like button if you're enjoying this. Don't forget to subscribe. Little smiley up here. Uh, it really helps me out a lot. Let you know what lets me know what you want to see more of. And I'll see you next video, guys. Alright, thanks. See ya.